You know, we all know consumers' energy for what they do best, making sure our homes are warm and bright while finding the best ways to reduce our carbon footprint as a community and state. But the utility goes beyond that, embracing art, creativity, and our young people with its Smart Art Competition now in its 10th year. Welcome to our friend Josh Bashorek to tell us more about the contest and this year's winners. Josh, thanks so much for being here. All right, thank you. I love this so much. So tell us about, about the contest. You guys put the call out to artists in the GRPS, right? That's right. So this is our 10th anniversary. We're really excited about it. It's also one of the most uh, fun uh, events that we do in the year, but it is our uh, Smart Art Contest. So this is a partnership with uh, our friends at Grand Rapids Public Schools and Art Prize. And what we do is and we invite Grand Rapids Public School students to submit a piece of art that has a renewable energy theme tied to it. And uh, this year we got some really incredible submissions. You see some of them on, on your screen. Um, last week what we did was we announced the top 20 finalists for this year's contest. So with leaders from Grand Rapids Public Schools and Art Prize, uh, we brought all the students together, announced who the top 20 were, and those top 20 are going to move on to the next round, um, and we will be uh, announcing the winner during Art Prize in the fall. And this art that they're submitting, 2D, 3D, uh, what are the rules there? What, were the, what did you get? We got all sorts of submissions. We got oil paintings. We got pencil drawings. We got little sculptures. We got digital media. We got a ton of different things. And this, it's really cool when you um, see some of the, the this artwork uh, that you see on, on the screen. You can see how talented these, these students are. And they really took it upon themselves to you know, take the time to learn about different clean energy issues, different environmental issues. And that's the whole point of this, of, of this contest. The, you know, these students are the uh, leaders of the future and you know, they're understanding what some of the big problems that you know, are facing our planet and facing our environment. And uh, they're taking it upon themselves to learn all about it. I love that. I love yeah. that. So there's a definite education piece to it yeah. because it has to have some relevance there. Um, talk about when you see some of these pieces. What do you guys think? I mean, are you are you inspired? Are you getting ideas? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah we we are. And you know, we had all of these students in the in the same room for the top 20 last week, and hearing them talk about you know why they got involved in the contest, what their their process was of you know uh, starting to learn a little bit more about the issues, and you know the little steps that they can take as you know just one person, you know, as one student, um, to try to better protect our planet for, fut for their generation, for future generations to come. So these 20 that we have, right? Yes. That's where we're sitting? We're at 20, 20 finalists. finalists. So uh, can the public vote for these? Yes, yeah, so uh, we have uh, the next stage of this contest is we will be announcing the winners on September 17th during Art Prize downtown at Studio Park. Uh, it's going to be at noon. We'd love to see every, the community there to celebrate these students. But as part of uh, as part of this contest, there's also the People's Choice Award vote. And so um, in September, we're going to be posting all of the work online, and there will be a poll for uh, the public and the community to go and vote, and they will select the People's Choice Award winner. Okay, perfect. So what, let's talk about what these students win. What do they take home if, they, if they're crowned, crowned the best? If, they're, if their art wins it, they're taking home a scholarship courtesy of Consumers Energy. We want to, you know, this is a big, this is an educational component. This is a clean energy component. And we want to make sure that we're celebrating these students and um, especially it's the 10th year. So we've had a number of winners come through um, and uh, a lot of them have continued up with their art careers and we're really proud to be able to support that as they uh, journey on to their next next chapters in life. And of course this all just goes hand in hand in lockstep with consumers energies uh, really their involvement in the clean energy transformation of our state. Absolutely. We I know we've talked a lot about this on the show, but it's been uh, it's a goal for consumers energy. We want to deliver clean energy that is affordable and reliable and um, all of those things sort of go hand in hand. But I mean, we have some ambitious clean energy goals over the next few decades. Um, we're really excited about being able to lead the clean energy transformation in Michigan to protect uh, Pure Michigan's wonderful natural resources that I'm sure lots of us are going to be enjoying this weekend. Um, so, you know, being able to lead that the clean energy transformation and then to support the next generation, these kind of students, um, that's what makes the Smart Art Contest so fun for us. Love that, Josh. Thank you so much. Making it a cleaner, more beautiful place. Consumers doing so much. So, of course, there's the, the event, September 17th, but then September, the beginning of September is when they all go online and people can vote? That's right. Well, okay. uh, keep, keep an eye on Consumers Energy, our social media channels. We'll be promoting the contest and we'd love to have uh, the community come and vote. Perfect. We appreciate it. If you want to learn more, go to consumersenergy.com. We'll be right back.